Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Bishop Escobar and Valiant responding to Futter Hype. And this is after Futter Hype went live and actually bono the selector and the artist for going to um, Jeffrey party. as it, my people. So them respond right now. I'm going to actually show you what's going on. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Also, we're going to talk about Squash Mother responding to her ex-man who claimed that they were going to put a hit on Tommy Lee Sparta. And also some other people name get called. I think Jamal Dunn's name get called. One bag of thing I go on right now. So, Squash Mother go live and you don't know she'll address the little rumors. Of course, the man where, as I say, where I put out them thing here is a brother named Man in the Street or something like that. Him do an interview with. I believe is I don't even want to call the wrong name, but he's a popular YouTuber him do an interview with. So, we're going to talk about that. And also, we're going to talk about Queen Lady Gangster, who is officially out of the hospital after spending 12 days in there. You see, my people. So, she make a post. I'm going to show you it. I'm show you the caption and them things. You see, my people. Also, we're going to talk about Alkaline being urged to find back the formula after he recently made a post about putting out another hit song. Also, we're going to talk about Mr. Vegas defending Jeffrey after being bashed by Footer Hype and others. Also, we're going to talk about a woman blasting pretty than for Sizzler. And also, we're going to talk about Spice revealed that she's back in Jamaica working on her album. So before we go going to further into the topics, my people, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate that. All right, people, so the first thing we're going to talk about is Bishop Escobar and also Valiant blasting Futter Hype. See, my people, now you know so Futter Hype go live today, and he actually said some things in relation to Bishop Escobar, right? Him say I'm not trust him because him go the party, go perform, not perform, go play at the party. Um, the same party, the Jeffrey party, where a lot of persons did a burn out and the same one the Chronicler never show up and a lot of persons are big up Chronicler, you know, go and stuff like that. Zin. Anyway, Bishop Escobar, him say my exposed foot a hyper way man clothes and them thing, the Zin are B-man clothes. Me have to be careful I'm worried on the platform, yeah. Anyway, um, him say my expose foot hyper wear them clothes there and him need to come actually answer if him so straight why him actually I do that. You understand me say my people. I remember me telling you say Valiant did actually react to foot hype, deleting all of his songs. So I'm gonna show you that but I'm gonna also play a piece of the foot hype when he might address Bishop Escobar and then I'm gonna actually show you the Bishop Escobar response and thing my people. So yeah, check out that small clip here. Remember the 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 the, the company and the association where I work amongst. So I'm all for shaky thing always I go around it. And them always ignore it. Alright, you have to be diplomatic. You have foot are two different person. Foot are bonfire, you're not really bon bonfire, but you have to decide now, say. Yes, straight are you lean. We need to know. Because association can make you lean. Remember, you did have the silent rivers thing. Yeah, man. So instantly, when you see Bishop Escobar, would almost feel a way the way of Futa Hype I deal with him. Futa Hype goes as far as for one, the man, baby mother, say she have to be careful of Bishop because he's a man, or it seem like he's a man where we do anything for money and them things. They see more people. And you don't know, say you have some man out there when you really want certain things for them name. And if you unfollow the man, and I kind of paint a certain picture of him. I can understand why the selector feel away. way. Yeah, see him, people, but I could get to Bishop Escobar now, and you can tell me anything. He also made a couple posts which I could read, but I could get to the video part first and thing and thing. Watch this, my people. Foot hype. You have 24 hours to answer them questions. Remember, you unfollow me, so people send him this so you can see it. I could post some picture, and you have to answer. To the fans, why are you wearing these brands and why are you representing these people? If you're so straight, come realize on a pick and choose who for straight and who for lean, you know. You see me? And you say about affiliation and association. So if you're so straight, all of them you will make a post right now, you have 24 hours to go live. And if you're not go live and address them yeah, you can't burn no fire upon nobody. Your straight nation fire where you are born invalid. You see me? Ready. So the first thing we am going to address people are the Vosashi robe. When I say, Moschino are number one. But when you check it out, it's a name brand. Versace is a booger man. But when you check it out, it's by the straight one. Footer hype. 
13 times on your Instagram, you go live or you go social post in a day. Louis, the, the, the Versace coat where you cover, where you coat yourself in. A. When you wear a clothes, your clothes where you wear represents you. If a stripper out a door, in a one jacket and cardigan and spike heel boot and leather bag, people are going to say she's a clerk. But if a clerk out a door, in a mesh tights and clear heel boot, then I'm going to have her as a stripper. So your clothes where you wear defines you. What you doing in a Versace robe? Look and see if I like me and tell. Come down. Yeah, man, my people. So that is what's going on. You see, that's what Bishop Escobar have to say. And as I say, him did also make a couple posts on him Instagram status saying the straightness where you promote is effing hypocritical because you made a statement about association and that straight people must draw a line and not, su and not support certain things. That means say, you shouldn't be wearing these brand and driving these cars. You no need to check on yourself before casting judgment upon people and him tag foot a hype. You understand? Him also go on for say judge not according to the appearance but judge righteous judgment is it i guess he's quoting a bible verse anyway i'm going for say notice your straight have the eight in it because you eat upon everything or eat upon everything and uh, everybody when not itch up on you and run to your for strength me not take no cow down from nobody once me know god have my record no man can cast judgment upon me so that our bishop escobar officer is it footer hype not in a no position according to him for actually a bona fire upon him and thing and him say footer hype have what 24 hours for respond not sure footer hype will respond because of course footer hype don't say what him have to say and thing is it the man nah itch when it come to burning a fire you understand what me and say um, as I say, Valiant also reacted to Futa Hype deleting all of his songs off of his laptop. Futa Hype did it live. You don't know, say, enough people kind of, I guess you can say shock, because them not really believe, say, Futa Hype should have go to that extreme there for delete off all of the youth music and thing. You understand what I say? But listen how Valiant react to it, my people. When you can't tell me anything, you think, is it? Mm -hmm. Yo, yo. Futa say man delete my song name dog. Dog, Futa say man delete my song name. And the dog come on New York, you know. Me say dog come on New York. And I say one international. Futa say man delete my song. Yeah, man, so that is what's going on, my people. You know, Valiant doesn't seem like he's really upset based on how he might act. You understand it now? Bad him or anything like that. And of course, Foot Hype is not the only selector in the world. So, really and truly, if him start play Valiant, Foot Hype is a good selector, you know, big selector, top selector. But if him start play Valiant song, them, I don't think that will hurt Valiant in any form or way. You understand? If Mataran even start play it as well, that not going to hurt him. You understand? Things and times change in our way, you know. See, my people. Big up to the selectors them same way because them play a very integral part in a day the, 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 the artist them career. But you have to understand say, social media help all heap of them artists and now TikTok. You know, the social media is very powerful now, but selectors, as I said, still play a very big part in a, the artist them career, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Dancehall Queen Spice, who is currently in Jamaica. She's at some hotel, it seems. Not sure which hotel, is it, my people? But anyway, she got live, and you don't know, she does update the fans. They make them know, so she did a yard. She actually worked on her album, because you know Spice have an album that come out this year. So, of course, you know, say, you know, it seems like she got different, different places for work with different, different artists and them thing. They understand the other day. Um, I wish she did there. I remember some other country she did there, but now she did at Jamaica. I guess I do some other songs and things for the album. Is it? Anyway, my people, I'm going to run a little clip. And as usual, only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Mm hmm. I just want to check in and make sure you know the best the good me there at Jamaica. And I write the album and I work on the album, so the album is on its way, it's almost done. Just hang in there and just expect the unexpected. We're gonna come out strong for this best day. Yeah, man, so that is what's going on with Dancehall Queen Spice. All of the besties, them, when you can go and stay tuned, look out for the album. You see it, hopefully, that one here do as good as our last album. Because the last album, you know, it did have the big song, Go Down the Panit, and that song did actually make sure do some good numbers. You see it, make Spice get certain interviews and 
you know, perform on certain events and them things. So I hope she find another international song like that. Because I go down there right now, in a 2024, still a big bad song where play a dance, same way, and events. And when she perform that, she get her forward, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Mr. Vegas, who is defending Jeffrey as it relates to, you know, the people in my blaze of fire upon him, same no straight and all them type of thing, is it? Mr. Vegas is basically saying that a lot of these people who are born out Jeffrey, them have selective fire. Them only select certain people who have born the fire upon. Of course, they know, say, foot a hype the first person for actually come out and burn out Jeffrey, is it? But anyway, this is what the article is saying. Mr. Vegas defends Jay Frey. Them not have no problem with shaky people a lie or just selective outrage. Veteran DJ Mr. Vegas took to social media to share his views on the current viral moment in dancehall involving popular podcaster Jay Frey. The same people you see come after you, them not in a sense here. See how quick them are talk about people not for come on your show, says Vegas as he expressed that he believe a lot of the backlash is a result of his interview with Shensia. Mr. Vegas went on to suggest that Jeffrey is getting a fight because he does not give out handouts or buy guns for criminals. According to Mr. Vegas, them not have no problem with no shakiness. All who are talking about them have problems with shakiness. Them not believe what them are saying. Trust me. He then used foreigners to highlight his points, detailing that Jamaicans will take money from foreigners regardless of their, you know, sexuality. Them not have a problem with shaky people a lie or just selective outrage because them no want you for have that success there. He then used Club Shea Shea to prove his point that after getting a viral interview, people started attacking him online. Y'all get rich too quick, says Vegas with regards to Jeffrey. He also talk about the hypocrisy in Jamaican men sharing a spliff from one mouth to another. So yes, my people, when I agree with what um, Mr. Vegas has said, when I feel like said of selective outrage, them choose them pick and choose like one who for burn a fire pan and basically you have some people you know zane if them rate and you do something where no really seem shaky them we kind of low you but if them not like the brother there and him do something shaky the same thing where them low you with them are going burn a fire pan him you understand me answer so that is what you call selective outrage is it them pick and choose who they want who them want to go up against is it my people so that is what's going on. One can tell me if you don't agree with what Mr. Vegas is saying in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Squash Mother, who is once again speaking out as it relates to a man who it seemed like she used to deal with or allegedly deal with seeing more people. I don't want to tell no life on nobody. But based upon what man say, kind of seem like him, you know, say him and I did have a little thing I go on. And at the same brother were followed out recently and say, Squash and his mother have $300,000 for him. My brother near a man in the street. Now, he did an interview must say, today or yesterday or something like that with a popular YouTuber. And during that interview, the man talked some things. Zane, one of the things that him say, him say Squash mother sell a back road. Yo, the man talked some things. The man say, them are planned for dirt, Tommy Lee Sparta. Um, I don't remember. I think I'll Ragin King named the call in it. I think Jamal. Yo, the amount of people named them call is it? Now, people, before me even play with Squash Mother, I say I'm not here to confirm what the man say if it is true or if it's lie. I don't really know. This man could be. We must say could be true, but it could also be lies. Just making up things because he want back his money and him just decide say I'm gonna go out there and spread a bag of rumors upon Squash and his mother. You understand, my people? In order to get back him alleged money, cause we see where Squash forward out and say him don't know this man none at all so i don't really know my people you don't know as me always say there's like what three sides to every story and sometimes even more than three you understand but me could get to a squash mad officer right now and as usual my people only can tell me anything about this in the comment section mm -hmm. because i'm out the money more time will and shot him in the head after running from Granville. Who no make him mix up the youth them because youth them are in and foolishness with him. I make him mix up none of the youth them. I make him mix up the youth them. The man want to quit one war what will never happen. It will never happen. It's about peace and love. You can't make no hey, me tell a chronic land never pass in place with me. That man never look with me and never change word like that with them. 
But chronic law this and line the tell them and you don't even know chronic law. You don't know Tamili. Tamili come and make my own pitney. Right? We went to drive go up the road a while. We went to my pine show him Jamal also the man was big and nice. A bad him bad man. You didn't call him man. You kind of like him man. Because he tell lies so the man usually come and now he come begging bag juice and send him some tea for bag juice. Come give him the beg him over now. And a line the tell. The man is like. Yeah man, so that I go on and what I go on, I guess we have to wait to see if man in the street are gonna respond to certain things where she has said, certain claims that she's making and all of that. You understand my people. Um one thing we know it's squash mother, you know. She now gonna make a forward out and say certain things about her youth them and it just slide. You understand what I mean? So we have to just watch and see if this brother here is going to get back they did the three hundred thousand dollar way. I said them owe him. You understand my people, so I'm gonna watch and see. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Queen Lady Gangster, who is currently out of the hospital after spending what twelve days in there. You see, my people. So you don't know she actually make a post showing when she is being released out of the hospital and thing. Is it? She also make a post. You don't know, I thank the people them for the love and the support and all of that. You see, my people, you don't know, Queen is a people person. So it's like, you know, I guess she and the nurse, them, you know, have a little band and them thing there, you see it. And we see um, pictures with Dewey come look for her and all of that, you see it. Because you know, she can't do it without for her, Dewey, you know. Anyway, she posted a video that like me see, and in the caption she said, After 12 days of being hospitalized, thanks for all the prayers that was sent out, good or bad. I appreciate everyone that's been there for me, both physically and mentally. Today I visited my brother, R.I.P. Bogle, R.I.P. Scary. Forever miss you. Glad you see God. God is good. And she tagged Dewey and said, i glad you see God. You see it. You know one thing, you know, Queen, you got to do a tag Dewey, you know. <laughs> Hey, that woman here yeah, got nuts for doing still, you know, boy, oh boy. Anyway, I'm glad she's all right still, you know. The surgery was a success and everything, you see. Because I remember, you know, my people, Queenie did feel some whole heap of pain, you see. It? And one thing we know with humans, no one likes to feel pain, you see. It? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is alkaline. See, my people, so alkaline make a post. To which a lot of persons are react to it. I don't remember where the post was shared. I think I maybe over Quest Times or one of them, you know, Instagram pages where we have all the people. Now, based on the comments, them, a lot of persons are say alkaline, lose it. You understand the songs them women make now? You know, it's like them they, they are not hit songs. You understand what I mean? So of course you know Alkaline fans them, the real vendetta fans them, they would disagree with these statements. See, I'm gonna actually show now what Alkaline posted and then what I'm gonna do is show some of the comments them. I remember know if you feel like say, Alkaline is not they did well, obviously it's not the same Alkaline like twenty sixteen because growth and all of them things they see me. No artists not really stay the same way. So when time some people say they want the twenty sixteen Alkaline, it would be impossible. Possible. That's like you saying you want the 1990s bounty or 1990s beanie or something. You understand? You can't get that back. Anyway, my people, Alkaline make a post saying, when should I release the next hit? You see it. Somebody say, which hit? Somebody say, when last you release a hit? Somebody say, still I wait for the first one for the year, father. You know, one of the big ones, them. Somebody say, you mean hit? You mean it or hit? Because I years now, you know, drop a hit G. Ah, oh boy, somebody say, <laughs> miss the 2016 Alkaline, but go on the thing, you might find it again. Ah, oh boy, somebody say, not feeling Alkaline songs or Alka songs them like first time. Somebody say, just go back in your 2016 element. Somebody say, the next hit, when was the last one? Somebody say, four years ago, too late, you know, Jano Star. Ah, boy. People, where anything could not feel like it's alkaline. Him not have the, the, the momentum like we used to have. Yes, it. And this is just me asking a question. So, Vendetta fans don't get in on the feelings. I nah, this is not artist because no honesty. Yes, it. Alkaline is a bad artist. Artist from a rate. And listening to music. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is a female basically dissing Pretty Dan for Sizzla. Now remember recently Pretty Dan followed out and she styled up Sizzla in the worst way, you know. You understand? Till the point where some people have said she can't forward back to Jamaica and all them things there. Because of course, when you tell Sizzla about him mother, 
that is you taking things to another level and some people might feel like say yeah why anything we reach her you know she deserve it you understand me and some people but remember we don't promote violence and them type of thing but you know of course you have some people would have take it that direction because of the type of love and respect with them of a sizzler now a female is currently speaking out basically blasting pretty down and defending sizzler let me actually get to this video now or some of the video only can tell me if you don't agree with what this lady is saying is it my people you pretty Dan, I want to look a dirty blood clad junker. You need to go repent. Go blood clad, you repent. You want to look a dirty nasty. All them way are back you. You need to go repent. This is how we talk about. We culture gone. We not have it again. Because of all of the whole, because of all of the bullshit are going in this world. When we culture gone as fuck and nobody no care about our culture anymore. You understand me I say? And most people are come out and say, me a sizzler woman. On a mind small. On a mind small. On a heart dirty. On a mind corrupt. You understand? Me rate sizzler. As one of the foundation. Just like Bob Marley. I mean, I have to deal with Sizzler for talk about Sizzler. Sizzler is a good youth. You understand? Sizzler help a lot of people. Sizzler heartical. He's a heartical man. And you see, whatever him believe in her, are the truth. You understand? Yeah, man. So that's what's going on. And as we say, my people, a lot of persons out there, them, them, them have a, like a special respect for Sizzler, you know? Yeah, man, because at the end of the day, one of the artists, them right now are the only, are one of the few Rasta artists, them where continue to burn the fire the same way. Yes, it don't to what the people are wondering and say, boy, I wonder if they're going to take away visa to the fire where they're going to blaze the same way. Yes, it. Yeah, man, they're going to burn a piece of fire. So. Um, Sizzler not respond to Pretty Dan. Not sure if he's going to respond because he probably he may more see it. I'm sure him see it, my people. You understand? Even though Sizzler is a man who not really respond to every and everybody, he has it. Only certain people him respond to. So, I can watch and see, but at the end of the day, still, you know, Pretty Dan is a person who is very vocal. She's going to speak her mind. Whether you like it or not, that's up to you for this side, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself. Until we drop the next video, I'm out.